Hello all, Shoestring here. Today we're going to begin our review of this Power Queen. It's a lithium battery, 12 volt, 200 amp hour. It's on the budget side of things if you're looking at lithium batteries. I know what everyone says about these. They're too cheap. They're chin battery clones and all that. I've seen some good reviews on it. And inexpensive wise, like we do on shoestring here, for the power you're supposed to get, it is a fairly inexpensive price. I'll put a link down for you. Right now what we're going to do is open it up, see what we get. Of course, later on we'll test everything. So we get paperwork, of course, looks like a manual and probably registration paperwork for beginners. Well, I like that. I always like everything for beginners. All right. Hi. Here you are. Post bolts tear here. All right. So there are bolts at the moment. We'll leave them right in there. We'll take this out. No, we won't. If I leave them in there, I'll throw this away and send these with it. Let's not do that. All right. There is the battery. I don't see any bolts on it. Probably what these right here are for. It's a really good size. I'll say that. Very long. Let's go ahead and take it out. All right, there it is. Out of the box. Power Queen 12.8 volt. Oh, by the way, I bought this with my own money, so they didn't send it to me. They're not getting any special favors for that. 200 amp hour, 2,560 watt hours, right? Lithium iron phosphate, which is what we expected. Okay, and it says it's a deep cycle, but nothing we're not surprised about. It uh, has these little string handles. If you've watched my videos before, you know I am not a fan of string handles, but that's what it came with. Even though they do seem pretty sturdy, we will find out. I move my batteries around a lot. So let's take a look at what we have here. Got these little caps. Okay. Let's open up the bolt. Got. Have to clean all this mess up when we're done so Mrs. Shoestring doesn't yell at us. All right. Let's see. We have four. They appear to be same size. I wonder why four. Why do we have four? Let's see if they fit. Well, not doing so well at first, are we? All right, that went in. Now I know I'm not using the washer correctly or the locking, but I just want to see if they fit. That's all. We'll put it all together correctly when we go to put it together correctly. And, of course, we have these extra two. And these, once we're done, to cover it. Go ahead and put that in there. Black on black. And just to make sure, let's take it out and double check all of them. They are all the same size. I was hoping they would be a little bit longer in case I wanted to put them into parallel, but maybe it will hold in parallel. We'll find out. All right, there it is. Positive, negative, power queen. It uh, is in just a standard plastic case. Nothing fancy about it. Let you see the... Other side, it of course came from China. It says made in China. I did get an email from customer service stating if I had any questions or problems, give them a call. Well, that's good because you never know when you're going to run into problems with something like this. So we're going to test it and tell you what we find out. Remember, if you like this kind of video, please subscribe and share and like 
Okay, so I went ahead and tested the battery, hooked it up, and it arrived at 13.3. 13.3 is not so bad, according to the manual. That's about how much, go ahead and turn this off, charge it should have when arriving. The manual is pretty nice, actually. It's well laid out. It's not one piece of paper like you normally get. Tells you how to set it all up, which, of course, you can see I have already, already done. Things to know before. It's actually laid out nicely. Give you a quick look at some of the specifications, just in case you're interested. The thing is, these lithium batteries are getting practically as inexpensive, the cheaper ones like these, as wet lead acid. I like wet acid batteries. They do take a lot of work. They don't really last as long, and you can't uh, discharge them as well as you can the lithium batteries. So, I wanted to show you the state of charge. I wanted to let you see the manual. We've already hooked these up to make sure that the bolts fit. And then, like I said, we're going to test it. And we're going to see where we're at. And I'll give you a report on that. Okay, so why do I say these lithium batteries are inexpensive? Well, let's take a look. This is a standard diehard marine battery deep cycle that I use in my system. It's a regular deep cycle battery I got from Advanced Auto Parts. People, if you've seen my other videos, know I have several of these in my system. And they are, let's take a look, they are $181.99. They're $181 to buy one of these. Now, of course, if you have a core, you can use it, but that's just replacing. It's not getting you a new one. So there we go. That is a wet lead acid battery that can be used in any type of solar system and $181. So let's look at the lithium battery. Remember, uh, Power Queen is not, is not paying me anything. They didn't send it to me free any of that. So this is a 12.8 volt power queen. It's like I said, 12 volts and a hundred amp hours, and it is $309. Now you can use all the capacity of this battery right here, the whole hundred amp hours with this wet lead acid. You cannot remember you can use less than half of your reserve capacity. So what that's telling you is you would need two of these deep cycle marine wet lead acid battery to equal the capability of this one right here. See that? So this is $309. Now we're not counting tax and we're not counting shipping and we're not counting all these other things. That's you can go in and find coupons for any of this stuff if you'd like. And I would always do. So $309. This one here. Same thing. No coupons. No core. Nothing like that. And we'll just say it's 181 And of course that's $362. So get the same capability. Except this is a wet less acid. It takes a lot of work. You have to add water. You have to balance it. You have to equalize it. You have to take care of it. You don't have to do anything like that to this one here. And this one says it will do a five-year warranty. This one has. And this one over here only has a 60-day warranty. So in the end, it's actually cheaper to get the lithium battery. Now, I'm not saying go to the uh, Power Queen. It's just the ones I'm working on at the moment. I also have a Fly Power battery that I've done a review on you can look at. And please check and do your own research. Find the one that's right for you. All right? What's the big drawback? The big drawback is upfront cost. 
you have to have the $300, right? $309 to get it. And with the wet less acid, you only need the $181. So do what's best for you, but we are now getting to price ranges where the lithium is just as good price-wise, if not better, than the wet less acid. Shoestring says you need to consider these things when you're looking at what to buy. Okay, if you have experience or understanding or like any of this, put it down in the comments. Tell me what you think of these batteries. Have you used wet less acid? Have you done lithium? Take a look. Let me know what you think. If you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it. And shoestring 